Hello, welcome back. Today is just a quick update tutorial on gun sights. Let's get started. All right, so when we last left our gun sights, we had done one with Lua code and one with Penguin Zero's web page. So today we're going to visit this again and see what has happened since we last left our gun sights and add transparency. So let's just turn them on. This is the Penguin Zero gun sight. So that was an image in Photoshop and I'll link to part one and you can check that out and see how we did that. So this was an image created in Photoshop and then converted to Lua script using Penguin Zero's web page. This one was created and I finished it up from the last tutorial, uh, all created with Lua script using just lines and circles, I think. We'll go check it out, but yes. So in conclusion, using an image to create the gun sight versus using script, I think that uh, it might be better just to use a script and I'll show you why. So let's go on into the editor and let's look at what we have here. So when you convert an image to Lua script, you can see it creates quite a bit of characters and this was just for the gun sight. So I was kind of like, hmm, maybe I should finish off the original. So let's go back into the original gun sight, which is done with just Lua script circles and lines and you'll see a big difference. So this is the gun sight, just drawing lines and a few circles. So this seems a lot more efficient than converting it. If you're patient, I mean, it's a lot easier for me to draw in Photoshop than it is to script in Lua, but after doing this, it wasn't too bad, at least for a gun sight. And I'm thinking that if you wanted to, or if I wanted to, I could make a component where I adjust some of these uh, parameters with an external um, box. So you could actually say, I want a large circle, I want a small circle, I want a third circle, and maybe this could be just a gun sight creator. So I might do that. That might be actually a good idea. And then I can release that as a component that you can just download and just adjust your gun sight to however you want. Um, but if you want to make an accurate gun sight to whatever picture you're looking at, of course, you'll have to dig into the script and draw it yourself. All right, so once we did that, we went ahead and we added a feature to this that I said I would get back to you on. So I didn't know at the time, but you can make a transparency setting. So you could actually have this in your plane, your cockpit, and you could adjust your transparency. So say it's hard to see out. See, like I'm trying to aim at the hawk right there, the eagle, and I'm trying to shoot. I could do that. And if I want to go ahead and make it darker, I could do that too. But it's hard to see. So, you know, if you have a preference, you could do that. And it works on the original as well. We lower it. So let's show you how to do that today. So you can add that. And maybe we'll make a component. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So how do you add the transparency? Okay. So what I did is I went ahead and created an input. And this is a number input. And we can call this just to clear it up in case it's not clear. This is transparency. Did I spell that right? Setting. Okay. And then we'll call it in because it's an in. And I like to say that. Okay. And then we'll come over here and it's right here. So what I did is I created, let's just unhook this so we can see what it looks like. Okay. So this was our original gun site right here. We had the Lua script and we had the out to video. So what I did is I added a composite number, hooked it to there and I set this to channel one. Then this is our input from the throttle. I just hooked that there. So after we did that, we came in here and we added a new variable called GB setting. And this could be anything you could call this, you know, uh, gun sight setting. Why not? Equals input dot get number channel one. And then we came down here to set color, which is sets color of all the different lines and circles. And we have zero to 55 is a green. And we could actually put this external too. So we could have a color setting for RGB. And let me, we'll just do that after this. Okay. The next parameter, the next property, however you want to call it, is the transparency. And so we'll set this to uh, gun sight. Let's spell it right this time. Gun sight setting. Let's go back here and fix that. I just noticed that I spelled it wrong. Sight setting. Okay, there we go. So what this does is the throttle or button, whatever you want, sets the number on the channel one. It brings it into here and it sets it to the gun sight setting. And then over here, whatever this is, is being placed inside the alpha uh, transparency from zero to 255. So that is all it's doing. So if we test it really quick, 
it should work. Unless I messed up. I don't know if I did. So let's go back over here. And it should still be working. It does. Yay, I'm so happy. And you can see the number right there. All right. So let's go ahead and why not? Let's let's add an attribute to this, which would be, let's go ahead and add, let's add the color. All right, so what we can do is, I love these boxes, property numbers. I'm go ahead and add three of these for RGB. Okay, so now we have three of these, which is our attributes. I'm gonna move these down here because what we're going to do is change this to four channels. Okay, so now we have input one, input two, input three, input four. Okay, yay. All right, so now we're gonna come over here into our script and we're going to add some more variables. So we're going to add uh, RGB R and RGB G and RGB B just because I'm really good at naming things, equals, 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 and then we'll just grab this part here because I'm lazy to type it all. And we just add get number, get number, get number. And let's do a little spacing here because my old programmer Aaron used to always say format your script, format it. And so we're formatting it. So hit two, we'll hit three, we'll hit four. Very cool. And then we come down here and we put our RGB, R, R, G, B, G, oops, G, R, G, B, oops, R, G, B, B. And now we have all of these are being set by these variables that we're gonna pass in. So let's go ahead and hit okay. And then default, we're gonna say R is zero. I say G is 255, so this should be our default green. And the B is going to be zero again, all right? So let's test it and see if we did it right. There's the green, and there's our transparency. Cool, okay, now what if we wanted to change it? Well, let's go ahead and do something like 33, oops, 33, 66, 99 and spawn that oh look how pretty it's a blue now a bluish gray so there you go so all you have to do is enter your rgb codes and now you get a colored reticle that you want now we could even add a button and we could pass in the uh color so let's let's go ahead and do that let's let's do like a an alternative color scheme button Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the controller. All right, so now that I figured out how to make an alternate color scheme, that's right, I had to go figure it out. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and jump into the component. This is our default right now, which is a 0255, and we could change it if we wanted to, but what we wanna do is create a second color scheme that we can swap to. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the component and we're gonna add a composite because we want to be able to use a mini instrument panel. So we're gonna call this mini in, yeah, oops, mini in change to alternate color scheme. A little bit wordy, but it'll work. And we're gonna come over here and that's gonna drop us off right here. And so right now we have our transparency in, we have our RGB for our first choice, and then we have this little composite guy. We're gonna connect this to the composite, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add three more of these. So we're gonna add one, two, and three. Okay, looking good so far, but now we have no place to hook this. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the composite right, and we're gonna say we want Oh, I don't know, three more channels. Five, six, seven, boop. All right, and that will go ahead and give us more channels. So we're gonna hook those up. One, two, three, okay. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and add RGB two. Oops, we should actually add the R, huh? R and then G two and B two. All right. And now what we're gonna do is go into our Lua script and we're gonna come in here. And now what do we have? So we have our transparency. Look at this, let's clean this up a little bit. There we go. So right now we have our transparency. It comes down on channel number one, our RGB for our first colors come in two, three, and four. And then down here, we're setting the color to RGB and then gun sight transparency. And that's all we're doing right now. So what we want to do is when we click the button on the instrument panel, we want to be able to change the color to an alternate color scheme. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here in the if, and we're going to say if input dot get boolean is true on channel eight, which is what we're going to put our button on, then we're going to use this color scheme. But this is our original one, and we don't want to use that. So we're going to change this to uh, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to copy this really quick here. I know I'm going to do this twice, I'm sorry. But we're going to hit else, use this color scheme, which is going to actually be our originals. So we'll just do two, three, and four. And then let's end this block of code. And now everything should be good to go, except we don't have a button. So let's check it, no errors, hit okay, hit update, and come out here. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab this little guy here. Where should we put it? Uh, we'll put it right on the side here. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this and we're gonna set instrument panel to color scheme uh, and then we're going to set this to a button and make it a toggle button and we're gonna put it on channel number eight okay so that number eight is gonna be passed in to that uh, boolean check and if it's on then it's gonna use the new color scheme if it's off it's gonna use our old color scheme so let's set our new color scheme to 33 66 99, oops, not, uh, not 77, 99, no, not 88, 99, thank you. And now let's go ahead and see if this works. I never get anything right on the first try, but if it does, I will be so happy. So we're gonna go ahead and look, we're gonna turn on. We are now in the default green. Now, when we push this button, it should turn bluish. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, no power. I knew that. I was just checking to see if you did. All right. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Can it work on the first try? I mean, second try. Ta-da, green, and what? Mm. <laughs> you know what we did. We forgot to hook up the, the composite to the switch. Okay, third time is a charm, as always with me. So, turn on the green, click the button, it's now blue. Our transparency works lovely, and there we go. And then we'll hit it again, it goes back to green. That's it, we did it, I am so happy. I'm so happy you would join me and watch this. All right, so now we know how to add transparency. We know how to add an alternate color scheme. On the next part, I think we're gonna try to figure out if we can make a different look and feel for the gun sight. So that's what we'll work on next time. But for now, thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Wait, I'm gonna go shoot this thing. Wow, that is awesome.